Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and as always, for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. Today we are here kicking off week three against Joe with his New York Oblivion um, and it is obviously in the, the X9 Draft League. We've had two weeks already, two great games, one against Poker Alex, one against June Fury and um, we are 1-1 currently going into this week. So uh, we're literally just setting up the match now. I've done the analysis so you can check out the team build from my perspective, have a look at Joe's team as well and obviously make sure to check out Joe's side of the battle as well. You know, one of the beauties about these draft leagues is you get two kind of perspectives. You get one from this side obviously that you're watching right now and then you get to go and have a look and check out joe's uh perspective as well and also if you're not subscribed to joe make sure you do check out his channel obviously streams a lot as well but his content is like it is a phenomenal he's an amazing team builder amazing player and uh you know he's got one of those very bright futures in vg in in particular you know he's an amazing player so Definitely check out his stuff. It's going to be beneficial for all of you new VG players and competitive players that want to get into it. Um, and yeah, go and do that. All his, all his stuff, all his socials, everything will be linked down in the description below. As well as everyone else from the Draft League, if you want to check out some of the other teams in the Draft League. We obviously did a lot of uh, coverage in that first week when we went through all of the teams briefly. Um, but hopefully as the weeks go on, we're going to bump into more and more of these. Locking in. And I got to give a big shout out to my my good friend Bebum who has helped me with the team this week. He's given me some of his special shiny Pokemon, which is amazing. Um, so he's helped me put the team together this week. Just select the rules and we're right in. So what have we got? We got the Amoongus, the Incineroar, obviously bravery. Yeah, we kind of expected the Hydreigon, the Gigalith there with the Trick Room from the Gotharita. All right, no Tapu Lele. I'm sad to see that because now the Azumarill can't do what it wants to do, and the Intimidate's a little bit more threatening. Um, okay. So so, uh, we've got to be careful because the, obviously the Goth, the Goth Rita can set up the, um, the, the the trick room for the, the Gigalith. That's going to be a little bit scary, right? Um, the Bravery is going to be a bit scary as well, of course. Um, what are we going to do? What are we going to lead? Because we could go Persimian. Persimian is pretty good here. But the only thing that would really make the Persimian not, not so good is that, that Bravery coming in. Um, we could lead Persimian Jolteon, of course, that's a nice option. We could lead uh, Azumarill Jolteon and then keep the Persimian maybe in the back for later on. Because um, I feel like a rounded, a rounded pairing like as a lead does super well. We'll go Persimian in the back because I think it does well as a late game mon. And then do we bring Venu or Rhyperia? Hmm. Hmm. Mm. it's hard it's hard it's difficult i think let's bring venu because i feel like venu could could be good if we can just like if we get ourselves into that position where we're like all right venu is going to be our maximum late game we've got the opportunity to get the sun up with jolteon let's just go for it get that sun up and let venusaur just rip through everything other than the high dragon but we got, we got, we got, we got Azumarill, right? We got Azumarill, Hydreigon, and Amoongus. Okay, here we go. We got, we got, we've got, we've got ways to do this. Uh, okay. Um, I'm relying on Sap Sipper, ignoring Rage Powder, which it should do, right? We're, go we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out right now. We're gonna find out right now. I don't know if it will. Uh, immune to Grass type moves, so we, I mean, we should do. Um, so we go after the Hydreigon and. Do we attack with? I mean, we could potentially go. Uh, we've not really got anything here. We could switch into Persimian. Um, or Venusaur. I just worry about Max Airstream. Are you going to Max Airstream into Jolteon? Probably not, right? And even if you do, Venusaur's got the Cobra Berry. We don't necessarily need... Don't necessarily need... Uh the sun up right now is what i'm trying to say um i'm just hoping like oh i just don't know i just don't know this mechanic if we uh if we get the um okay well this is fine incineral coming in persimian would have been the better shout there of course uh but we know the hydrogen's not scarfed by the fact that jolteon switched out before and uh okay play rough into incineral doing a decent enough chunk of damage and there's a spore. 
into Venusaur. Okay, so we keep that the safety goggles kind of as uh, a surprise, a surprise. Uh, but we are locked into player rough with Azumarill, so it's not ideal. Um, I think we get Jolteon onto the field, and I think we just protect. Because then we got Jolteon on the field, we get the sun up, and Venusaur is in a phenomenal spot to start getting some damage onto the board. So Jolteon the chipper, and Incineroar going back out. The big bird coming in, okay, well, this is alright. If we see a spore into Jolteon, not ideal, but not the worst. Because then it reveals, okay, just a Giga Drain, that's fine. We should have stayed in, we got that Sap Sipper boost. Boost, boost, boost. Now we're going to see Rage Powder. Do we max Jolteon? I think we go Rising Voltage. And I think we go... Oh, we could go Sunny Day. We could go Sunny Day. But Venu's not going to be able to beat the Bravery. So we kind of want to get a Zoom Rail in. Uh, they're gonna, they're, he's going to go Max Airstream. I think what we could potentially do is go... Can we max? Can we max? Yeah, we'll max. And I think we stay in and I think we sludge bomb as well. Yeah, let's do that. Let's max Jolteon. Let's go all in on the Jolteon. No! <laughs> oh, the Incinero is coming in. Well, it's going to take a max lightning, right? And then we get the... the, the um, and a sludge bomb. And we're going to get our terrain up. So we're not really worried about the spore. We're not worried about the Rage Powder. We're going to get some good damage onto the Incineroar, which is always good. Uh, but we're pulling the trigger now with the Jolteon, which I don't... Honestly, I don't mind doing. I don't mind doing this because I think the Jolteon... The, the Incineroar is going to be in a really tough spot this next turn. Um, because the Rising Voltage is going to have that, that terrain boost. And now we don't need to worry about the... Um, obviously, we don't need to worry about... Uh, the spore, the spore, the spore, the rage powder, or anything like that. Um, sludge bomb. This might take the the incineral out. Nah. Okay. Spore. Safety goggles. Safety goggles revealed. Revealed. Now the 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 incineral going to go down. Um, and the sludge bomb we can go into Amoongus. The Amoongus is not really doing anything here, you know. It's like it's literally doing nothing. The incineral is going to be able to potentially go for. I think we switch out Venusaur now. Get a Zoomerel onto the field, and um, we we can start that the fake tears stuff especially if the high dragon comes in or we can just pressure the the high dragon with um with a play rough because the fake out we kind of want to preserve venus off we can and then we'll get rid of the incineral which is always going to be useful and then we'll see what we can do against this high dragon um giga drain coming out jolty on taking out like a champ we got one more max turn left. I'd imagine... Mm, I don't know, like, does the bravery come in? Yeah. Big bird. Probably protects, though, right? Probably protects. I think we lock into fake tears. Go fake tears into the bravery and then go max lightning onto it as well. And hope we don't see a rage powder. And hope we see, like, a giga drain into the Azumaro. And then... I'm hoping like a terrain boosted minus two bravery drops to Jolteon's rising voltage max rising voltage attack, which it should do if we pick this up, then I think we've got the game. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Is it going to be that clean cut? No, it's, oh, come on. Sap, 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 got to ignore it, got to ignore it. Please ignore it. Please ignore it. Please ignore it. Please ignore. I don't know if it does. No, it doesn't ignore. Ah, okay. Well, at least we know for next turn. But this will ignore. And we'll get this max lightning off. And do some fat damage. Now, the problem is they're going to get an airstream off. Which puts us in a terrible spot. Um, yeah. We kind of need to keep... Oh. Rumoro. For another turn. Mm, 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 mm. Do we just let Azumaro go down now? And get the sun up?
Okay, he can only attack one thing, and he's going to attack the. <laughs> Does he attack the Jolteon? Potentially. Uh, let's go into Venu because <sighs> we've got the Cobra Berry there. It kind of it kind of helps us out a bit. We need to get through these max turns, and I don't know what the Bravery's got because it could potentially have like Rockfall, um, Knuckle as well, which is not going to be ideal. Um. Let's see where it goes. Is he going after the Azumarill? But I think the Azumarill, you kind of know that it's Scarf now, so it, it's it's a bit more telling. And goes Airstream again into Jolteon this time. Okay. We take that. We take that. I mean, it might be worth sacking. It might be worth sacking the... the um... Yeah, the Giga Drink on that slot. It might be worth sacking. Do we sack um, the Azumarill? Maybe. Yeah, because Pissimian can deal with Hydreigon and Amoongus to, 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 to be fair. Do we just protect Venusaur? Yeah, I think we just protect Venusaur. And then the max turns are done then. And then we don't need to worry too much. I could see Max Knuckle coming out here into uh, Jolteon though. Gives him that plus attack. But Jolteon quite important to us to deal with that bravery. Obviously the safety goggles definitely um, makes that Amoongus really not as effective. It was the big thing that we kind of identified though on Team Preview, you know? So. And at least the Cobra Berry here is going to help us out a bit if he attacks into Venu. It doesn't look like he's gonna he's gonna go after the yeah the, the Jolion, which makes a lot more sense. Now he still has the Brave Bird, which can do uh, a considerable amount of damage, but a sludge bomb should be enough to get that bravery from the range that it's at now. So out of the two, we should be we should be alright. But you gotta mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I think we double enter bravery. And the electric train, is it still up? I don't know if it is. Maybe not. No, the electric train's gone, I think. I think. The rising voltage should still get it, you know. Yeah, and I, I imagine the sludge bomb, with the recoil damage it's going to take, is going to get it. Yeah, the electric train's gone. We can rise in voltage. Sludge bomb. And then we go, we just got to remove the bravery, and then Persimian can kind of win this game, hopefully. So there's a brave bird. Where are we going? It's into Venusaur. That's ideal. That's what we want. That's what we want. Okay. Well, is it? Yeah. It's kind of what we want. Rising Voltage. We'll be able to uh, pick up the knockout onto the, the bird. Uh, the Giga Drain won't be enough. And the Sludge Bomb will redirect onto that Amoongus, which is perfect. And then what we can potentially do as well is set um, the Sun with, with Jolteon if we want. So we can get a Sludge Bomb into the Hydreigon. And then... Like, just get some damage onto the High Dragon before... Ooh, that does some fat damage. Is it crit? No. Wow. Um, that does way more damage than what I thought. It's not very bulky Amoongus. Um, okay, yeah. So, we go Sunny Day. And then we go Protect. And then we can get at least rid of the Amoongus with Venusaur. And then... If Jolteon goes down here, which is fine, Persimian comes in and can just nuke the the the, the hydragon yeah i don't mind them doubling up oh the he, moongus has got like all the speed boosts of course so yeah it's the fastest fastest thing on the field other than our jolteon and there's a sunny day that's what we want to see and then dark pulse it's into the venusaur okay so um Yeah, I mean we could switch Jolteon out. I don't really feel like it's super necessary. I think we sludge bomb into Amoongus. Yeah, we sludge bomb into Amoongus, rising voltage into into Hydreigon, and sludge bomb into the Amoongus. Just if the Amoongus protects. Yeah, uh, that's the that's the frustrating thing here. But again, it's solo health that an Acrobatics will be able to take it down. Yeah, maybe that's why we should have sludge bumped into the Hydreigon, uh, because now it's going to be able to take down uh, Venusaur. 
unless it goes after the um, the Jolteon, which wouldn't really make much sense. You want to get rid of the fast thing on the field. But Persimian can come in here now um, and go for an Acrobatics or a knockoff into the Amoongus. At least then we'll be able to find out the item. Yeah, we go for the double up. We go... Um, okay, we go Shadow Ball and knock off. And see the item on this Amoongus. Yeah, that should that that combo should be enough. Sport, oh, of course it's faster and we can't we can't protect. We need to kind of wake up. I forget about this Amoongus being so fast. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, is it Shadow Ball enough to get the Amoongus? I don't think it will be. Oh, it is. Okay, Jolteon. Doing, doing, doing work. Persimian staying asleep, not ideal. But faster than the, the Hydreigon, which will be able to take down the Jolteon now. And then a close combat is all we need. Close combat is all we need. Um, and then we've got this first game wrapped up, which is great. So... Uh, it all depends on the sleep turns and, of course, what Hydreigon has uh, attacking-wise because it could have something like Flamethrower, which is going to actually benefit from the sun going up now. But we wake up. Okay, the one-turn wake. And um, that, that makes things a lot easier for us. So, uh, I mean, we got our selection pretty right, uh, but Joe made it very difficult for us to kind of close down uh, <laughs> close that match up there was definitely points there where i was like uh, are we going to be able to do this but but we we were able to uh, unfortunately didn't get to see any of the items on the moongus i don't believe anyway so if we did i missed them uh, let me know down in the comment section below but we are one up hopefully we can take another win here and then close it up that would be amazing but i don't know if we're going to be able to because joe's going to a hundred percent uh, adjust in this game going forward so I'd imagine we'll probably see maybe something like Gigalith come in um, we're gonna see the Hydreigon again I mean the thing is like the Azumarill causes a lot of issues right I think you're gonna want the bravery as a lead but I don't know if you can hmm, are you gonna be able to lead the bravery I think we lead the same again, okay? I think we lead the same again. And I think we got Venusaur and Persimian. I think we got the same again. I think it worked so well against what he's brought. Um, I think we got the same lead. I just, I don't really see... I mean, he's got fake out support, right? You can stop the Azumarill doing stuff turn one. But I don't think... Max Airstream's going to be uh, the Max Airstream's his way to kind of to kind of uh, get ahead in this game, of course. And like for that reason, you could maybe say, well, should we bring Rhyperia to this game? Because then Rhyperia at least can come in, um, and it can it can soak up those Airstreams a lot better than everything else. But I mean, at the same time, like Jolteon is going to be able to take these Max Airstreams pretty well if it. Like, if it's maxed itself, it's going to be able to take them a lot better, you know? Um, and like I suspected, maybe in the ana the analysis, like, Bravery probably got the Lumberry. So, burning it is not really an issue. Um, I don't know why I'm talking about it. I'm just jabbering at this point. I'm kind of trying to keep my nerves. Because <laughs> I feel like we're on the cusp, potentially going ahead. It's first time in this draft league, which would be really nice. Bravery and Gotharita makes a lot of sense uh, because you've got that that fake out pressure to stop the Azumarill but you don't have a way to stop the Jolteon although you can set you can set the trick room up which is a little bit worrying and we can't switch anything out here we can't so we can fake tears and just go for the max max lightning that is that is what we can do I mean, the other thing to consider as well, like Gotharita gets, um, it gets a little switch, which, you know, if you've got access to that move, it's like, I think about it a lot in my team building, you know, and, and putting teams together and thinking, could we squeeze ally switch on? You've got to make the use of it in, in things like the draft league. Brave, we're going to switch out. Hydreigon coming in. Big tier is going to definitely help, you know. But I think we're probably going to see 
the trick room, I'd imagine. But if we see fake out, then that's fine. But I gotta max, I gotta max, I gotta max the Jolty on. It protects us against, it protects us against hypnosis. That could be an option coming out from this, this Gotharita, which we just don't want to have to contend with, you know. Uh, and there's a fake out, which is fine, which is fine. It means the trick room's not going up this turn, which is, which is good. Um, and it means that we've got the soak the next turn, which we can go for. And really get those style points kind of going. Okay, so we're going to soak. We are not going big tiers. We are going to go soak because we now have the terrain up on the field. And I don't know why I'm doing this accent, but I feel like we're going to get, like, for once, when you put, like, ideas down, you get the chance to put these into to practice. What's coming in? Please be the Giglith. Oh, it's Incineroar. Okay. Well, we're going to turn this, this bad boy. We're going to turn this bad boy into a water type. And um, we should have gone for the Goth Reader, to be honest. To be honest. Ooh, it just protects. Okay, it just wants to keep us trapped in here. But we can say uncategorically goodbye to Incineroar, right? We can say uncategorically it's going to go away. It's not going to have that fake out pressure anymore going into this next turn. There we go. And we've got one turn left where we can go for another Sulk and rise in voltage into either the high dragon or the bravery now if the, the bravery comes in it is going to be the high dragon it goes for protect i think i think it goes protect i think it goes protect here i think it goes protect i think we go after the gotharita it frees up a little bit of room as well for us doesn't it i just worry about the high dragon if it yeah it's got the life orb it's got protect we go after gotharita you've got to preserve you got to preserve the High Dragon. We go Sulk into the Gotharita. It's just protected. We know we can get that slot. And then it's two versus four. Still got to worry about the bravery. But the the big worry here, I think I've got, is the High Dragon maxing. Going max uh, Quake into Jolteon. And with the Life Orb. I mean, we are bulky, right? So we should be able to take it. But at the same time, it's kind of, it's kind of tricky. Because it's going to hit like a truck. No protect, no protect. We don't like, we don't like seeing that. We don't like seeing that. We want to see that protect. The Gotharita gone down, and I mean we got the choice of the sock the next turn. All right, so we get rid of the the Gotharita, get rid of that trick room threat potentially, and then now, um, Earth Power, yeah, not ideal. But into Azumarill wants to remove the Azumarill from the field. That's the big thing I think for for Joe now because I think you want to airstream. And and remove that Azumarill because it's such a pain. It's such a pain to deal with. Um, do we go after? We don't need to soak the bravery, but we could soak the high dragon and just go rise and voltage into the bravery. Let's we see the bravery protect protect. Nah, it's gonna go big bird. Big bird's coming out. Big bird. Ooh, it's gonna be faster than everything. Everything. This is where the sleep powder maybe would have come in useful, but again, it comes back to the point that I believe that the, the, there's a lumberry there on that bravery. Just gotta hope that the rising voltage is enough. I don't think it will be. Um, the Hydragon protects. So yeah, wants to avoid that soak. Yeah, wants to avoid that. Yeah. There's no point in soaking. Well, there is a point. We could have probably soaked the bravery to, to get rid of the... Wow, it does literally nothing. It does literally nothing. I mean, we take that pretty well. Um, but now he's got the kind of the, the pick. What he wants to go for. Hmm. Hmm. Not really got we not got the switches. This is why I was saying like Rhyperia would have been a good a good option. Um we could turn bravery into a water type. It would make it easier. But I think you go I think you have to go Airstream into Zoom Roll this turn. I think you have to. Okay, we'll go water type into bravery. We'll switch out into Venu. Because I can see an airstream and an earth power coming out into the Jolteon slot. And I don't think we necessarily need Venusaur. I think Persimian is more important to us in this one. 
and we need to get through these yeah yeah there's the earth power and now the airstream into Zumuro. yeah we need to try and stall out these these max turns we got one more to go and it's going to be all about the Persimian as well you know right well let's see what we can do in these final turns if we can turn this around the high dragon i don't know if we're going to be able to i think joe set this end game up like very well because it's just earth power airstream that's all we got And then it comes down to Persimian, who probably will go down to. It will go down. Yeah, 100% will go down to a. Unless, unless, unless. Okay, maybe this might work. If you go Earth Power into Jolteon, it's just so risky, right? It's so risky. Because if he goes Airstream into Jolteon, then we're, we're kind of done. And we protect Binu. I think you go after Venu here with the airstream. I think. I just hope this doesn't back. This doesn't backfire on us because this will. If we lose Persimian here, we're done. The match is over. So we've got to hope that we see Earth Power Persimian, airstream Venu. Earth Power Persimian. Yep. Which you know we don't take super well, but we take. Uh, yeah, okay, that's good. Now, hopefully, Venu can take this. It should do behind the protect with the Cobra Berry. It should do. Yeah. And now we kind of split attention slightly because Venu might be able to take a, a Dark Pulse. Maybe. I don't know. But it, what we need to try and do is get one attack into that bravery. <clears throat> or is, has Jolteon got enough health to kind of take... Because the other option is going after the, the High Dragon with Persimian. But I don't think we're going to be able to do that. No. There's no way. There's no way I think... I don't think we can kind of come back from this spot. I really don't. Um, I think... Okay. I think we need to switch Jolteon in, okay? And I think what we need to try and do is have Venusaur survive the Dark Pulse, Sludge Bomb into the Hydreigon and hope the Bravery goes after that Persimian and just goes after the Jolteon instead. Um, we need this to survive, we need this to survive. Now nah, we can't take it, now nah, we've lost, we've lost, we've lost. The Life Orb just ticks it over a little bit too much. Yeah, and now the Brave Bird, Brave Bird. Unless Jolteon survives this, of course. I don't think it will, though. Nah, the bravery is just too strong. This is the position. This is where the Rhyperior would have been a little bit better. Just to take those airstreams. But I think we need to reevaluate how we're approaching this match. Because these airstreams have just kind of absolutely crushed our game plan. So fair, fair play to Joel, you know. Um, we'll let him take the kill. We'll try and get it on the bravery, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think Persimian's going to drop. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Maybe it's time. Wow. The only speed control we've got is Persimian, right? We've got Airstream on Persimian. But it means Max and Persimian and not, and not Jolteon. And there's the Earth Power. Here comes that big, big bird. Yeah, and that's it. Okay, well, we really need to evaluate this this turn round. I still think the Jolteon Azumarill works really well, but late game, it's not working against the Bravery, which can come in and just airstream everything. And Venu, not really, not really worth it in that in that end game there. You know. Um. And especially, I think, if Jord maybe went with Fake Out maxed Bravery, turn one, although it's kind of risky with the Jolteon still on the field and, you know, um, and the potential max there. I think he played it perfectly, to be honest. I can't, I can't really, can't really take it away, but it ties it up. 1-1, one, one. we're going into game three now. Hopefully, come on, we've got to do this, got to do this. We've just got to think about this a bit more methodically. Right. 
This is where Trick Room would have been really useful. On the Mimiku to get around that, um, the Airstream, the Airstream abuse. Right, well, Rhyperia, gonna struggle against that, that High Dragon. We got Steel Spikes, we do have Steel Spikes on Persimian, it could be an option. Could be an option. Could be a good option, to be honest. What's the one thing that's going to give the Persimian a hard time? It's going to be the the um, the bravery, really. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's go Jolteon. Let's go Persimian because we can max Steel Spike, and then it doesn't really matter about. At least our defenses then are going to be a lot better. Get Jolt and boost it up. Maybe Azumarill. I think Azumarill makes a lot of sense. It just works so well against pretty much most stuff. And then do we want Venu or do we want Rhyperia? Like, or do we want Mimikyu? I just think if we see Gigalith in this match, it could get a bit trickier. Whereas Venu can come in. I think we bring the Venu. I think we bring the Venu still. Because I still think that combination with the Sunny Day can work out pretty well. Um, maybe Max and Venu is not a bad play, you know? We could Sunny Day switch into Venu turn one, depending on what comes out, you know? If the Bravery's there as a lead, it makes it very difficult. So Mungus and Hydreigon, okay. Makes me want to do the, the Sunny Day play though. Although. Yeah, I mean, we could Sunny Day. I just feel like if we do that, we lose we lose Jolteon. Um, Max Airstream is going to be a bit of a pain. But we've also got the play where we can just go uh, Protect. And we can just go into Azumarill here. Uh, or we could go into Venusaur. But I do worry. Hmm. 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 Yeah, let's go into Venu. Let's go into Venu. Because we've got the, 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 we got the possibility of maxing Venu here. You know? If we want, and we keep Jolteon on the field. The only issue here would be Max Max Quake into Jolteon. It wouldn't be like it wouldn't be favourable. Let's just say that. Yeah, Max Quake coming out. Big fat Max Quake. And spore, I would imagine, into the Persimian. Which makes it a little bit tougher. This is where Sleep Powder would have been really useful on Venusaur. But, at the same time. What's done is done. What's done is done, and we can only work around that. And at least we know the Bravery is not going to be the Pokemon that maxes here. Which makes things so much easier for us, right? Um, and at this point, honestly, we could probably get... Persimian back in. Go max airstreams with Persimian. I kind of want to switch into Zoomerill now though. Rather than let Jolteon go down. Maybe max Venusaur. And go max sludge. Max sludge bomb. Mm. We sack Jolteon to do it. It's very risky doing it because the bravery is blatantly in the back. Um hmm. We get Zoomerol into the field. And I think we max ooze into Hydreigon. Yeah. We get that special attack boost and then we go for the max Vine Lash after that. You've got to worry about Incineroar as well. Incineroar is always a Pokemon that can come in and cause all sorts of issues. But what have we seen from Hydreigon? We've seen... What have we seen? Max Quake. Dark Pulse. We don't know what that last move is. Because he got Protect. But Venu to the rescue. Come on, Venu. You can do this. Right. Big, big boy Venu. The God. The God. The Channel Mascot. It has to be said. The Channel Mascot. 
The goat of VGC has arrived. Hit the field. Let's go. Let's get this Max Ooze. Right, Max Darkness coming out. Oh, it does so much damage. It does so much damage. It does so much damage in reducing that special attack. Uh, special defense. Just ignore me. Special defense. It does so much damage. Hydra again is a monster. It's a monster. It's a three headed monster. It shouldn't even be allowed. It's an abomination. Um, okay. The rage powder as well kind of doesn't doesn't help too much sap sipper okay i get that 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 defense boost that's what we want okay right well do we do we now switch back into jolteon to get the sun up the next turn and then go for one last ride with venu and get the residual damage chip it's an option i just worry that you go max quit i think you go max darkness Go Max Darkness. You could go Max Quake. Boost Special Defense, of course. But a play rough is no good here because we just get Rage Powdered. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Max God. Because we should take a Dark Pulse maxed. And then we're going to G Max Vine Lash off, which is what we want, right? Yeah, there's a Rage Powder. Max Darkness into Venusaur, or maybe Max Quake into the Azumarill. That does quite a bit of damage. It's quite a bit. No, oh, it's a crit. Okay. Max Darkness into Venu. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, now we get a Vine Lash off. Okay, Vine Lash, Vine Lash. Here we go. Here we go, Vine Lash. Um, now, this could be the opportunity that we need where we switch into Jolteon now, I think. And we go Max Vine Lash. Because I don't see you going for anything other than a Dark Pulse into the Venusaur, right? And I think we take it from this, from our health at the minute, even though we're minus one, I still think we take it max. Hydreigon protects like we thought it probably would, right? So that's fine. It starts that residual chip. That's all we want. Then we can get the sun up the next turn and we can sludge bomb the Amoongus, which we know will take it down, set ourselves up into a good position. The problem is, I think the Dark Pulse will take Hydreigon down uh, take Venusaur down from the from the range that we're at right now. Gigadrain, not ideal. Um, do we go after the Hydreigon actually with a Sludge Bomb? Because I think a Sludge Bomb probably gets it, you know? I think a Sludge Bomb maybe gets it. I feel confident. Plus one Sludge Bomb. Are they on plus one? They are plus one. Shweed aren't they? I think what we do is sack... Sunny Day and Sack. Sack Jolteon, right? And then we get Azumarill back onto the field, which is what we want, really. Protect Venusaur this turn, get the sun up. And then we can go for Amoongus Sludge Bomb, play rough Hydreigon, and then we're in a great spot. Yeah, that's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. That's ideal. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. Perfect, right there. Now we get the Azuma onto the field. Yeah, and it's definitely in it's definitely in the uh range of a play rough now. 100 percent 100 percent No doubt about it. We could probably even get Persimian onto the field now and just go close combat and it kind of checks an Incineroar switch in. And also if Bravery comes onto the field, it it does better against that. I think Persimian's just a better option. Oh no, because we're not faster than it. No, oh, it means that we've got a sludge bomb and then uh. <sighs> Okay, we messed this up a little bit. But this stops the Incineroar coming onto the field now, okay? So we switch into Zoomerel and then we sludge bomb Hydra again. Unless it protects. And then they go spore into Amoongus. Yeah, it would have been better. It would have been better to bring in Azumarill and then we check the Hydreigon because we outspeed it rather than ignoring the fact that we don't with Persimian. Or do we from earlier games? We may do. I don't know. Okay, well, regardless, we get it. Do we see a Giga Drain or a spore into that Azumarill spore? Okay, get that Sap Sipper boost, which is always good for the attack boost anyway. Um, we can get rid of the Amoongus when we want. 
and depending on what comes in, like the bravery, it's going to have to take a double up. Okay, and Cinnaroll coming in, which is fine. Now we get... Now, uh, we can't... We can't get Persimion on the field until we can get rid of this, this Amoongus. So, I think what we'll do is... Hmm... I think we just play rough. Oh, well, we could. Fake tears. No, I think we just play rough the incineral. Oh, we could fake tears. Hmm. I just want to just get rid of the, the Amoongus. I just worry. Okay, we'll go for play rough and we'll go for a sludge bomb into the Amoongus. That should remove it from the, the calcs that we had. Uh, probably won't actually. And the calcs that we had before because it's plus one special defense. Okay. Well, a play rough and a sludge bomb will be enough. Uh, an earth power. The, the Incineroar is going to be able to remove the Venusaur this time around. A uh, play rough not going to be quite enough. But, oh, nowhere near enough. Nowhere near enough that crit before was the big thing but it's in i think okay where are you going after the no after the venus yeah makes sense uh okay persimian will be able to get it with a, an acrobatics and this chip damage onto the incinero is like super super useful but the issue is is going to be the bravery that comes in i think is the last pokemon and probably will be able to Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, play rough is not going to be enough. Steamroller would have been better. Yeah, because we it, like Incineroar gets a free turn here, which is not ideal. And a Flare Blitz in the sun onto Persimian. Are we going to be able to take it? Possibly not. We've got Acrobatics, it should be enough. I mean, knockoff's probably a better option. Just that the Amoongus protects here, that's the that's the big that's the big issue. Which it doesn't. Oh, and the player of misses acrobatics. Hopefully it is enough. Just yeah, okay. Flare blitz into Persimian. Not ideal. But Persimian okay, parting shot. Oh. oh and then the fake out, Brave Bird into Persimian. Yeah. That's it, I think. I think, yeah, the parting shot. I didn't see it coming. Ah, the parting shot. Okay, Brave Bird, here we go. I think we lose this now. I honestly, yeah, I think Joe's just managed this end game like way better than what we have. Where's the fake out coming? Where is the fake out coming? Because it, it feels like it's going to come down to Azumarill. Versus Incineroar. Maybe. Because the recoil damage. Mm, Azumarill going to be minus... Minus two now, I think. And Persimian is the is the fake out target because of the Defiant. Because you're gonna boost us. So you just fake out Brave Bird. Yeah, the Cobra Berry would have been better on Persimian. But does he know we're assault vest yet? Does he know that we're assault vest? Maybe not. Does he predict a protect there, potentially? Because he doesn't... I don't think he knows we're, we're Assault Vest. But he must do, he must do, right? He must do. And he, you're, you're not really worried about the Azumarill? Like, one little bit. Like, one little bit. Close combat into the Bravery. I think that's all we can do. Like, the, the active Fake Out coming in is, is, is more than enough. And the Brave Bird will be enough. Play rough hits. Yeah, it's just not doing enough damage. And the Brave Bird. If we survive this somehow, I think we can still maybe take it. But yeah, nah. No, no way. No way. I don't even think the crit mattered there. I really don't. <sighs> ah. Ah. I'm a little bit I'm a little bit sad because I feel like Yeah, the team, all the ideas kind of worked well. I think just the execution of them. Uh, like we just let it kind of slip and against a player of like Joe's caliber it's not it's not something you can do you know you need to be able to 
lock the game down. I think like in game one that we did, you know, yeah, just the, the, the intimidates, um, just too much, yeah. Brave Bird gonna take us below 50, and maybe even another parting shot. Uh, yeah, another parting shot. So we need a crit onto the bravery right now, and then we need to like crit, 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 crit that incineral over and over and over again until it just goes away. And I don't know if we can. Come on, Azumarill. If you're ever going to get a crit, nah, no, no, crit. And then the Brave Bird is going to finish it. And we will see. Well played. There we go. We are 1 2. All hope is not lost, right? All hope is not lost. A massive, massive big props to Joe as well for pulling that one out and a really good game. That was a really enjoyable one, you know? I can't have any... I am a little bit sad because I always want to come out winning, you know? We're going to try and win this draft league. But at the same time, uh, you got to say, it was a very fun set. It was a fun set from start to finish, for sure. We got to play around with all our techs and stuff like that. So and they nearly came off. But um, unfortunately, the big bird was just too much of an issue and i think the issue in that game three was letting jolteon go down when we did like getting the sun up really you know it did put us in a good spot but again it probably wasn't necessary i think it probably would have been better at that point switching in a zoom roll and maybe preserving jolteon for an end game knowing knowing for a fact that that bravery is in the back and then we got a good win con against it when it comes in and unfortunately, we didn't do that, so we can't really complain. But like I say, go check out Joe's side of the battle for, over on his channel. It'll be all linked down below in the description. Let me know what your thoughts are on today's battle and uh, the team in general, and if you've enjoyed it, because that's the big thing. So thank you so much for uh, tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day, and I will catch you all for another episode on the channel very soon. So until then, take care, and bye-bye.